Hey everybody and welcome to our first look at an idler game called Incremental Factory. They sent a cover code over for this one and it seems interesting enough to, for me to check it out. It's basically you're crafting and automating an industrial empire from scratch and it's a strategic game that is idle and you uh, manage resources, overcome hurdles, and optimize production chain. Your journey starts here, the factory must grow. It's developed and published by Significant Stake. Released earlier this year on Steam. They were nice enough to send over a copy of it for me to check out. Currently available for $9. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and click New Game. We have Stone. We, get to, we can spam click. What we can do, we can spam click. Okay. So, there we go. We can, we can spam click. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a kiln losing stone we are producing bricks does that help us at all does that uh it put two stone we can produce basically produce start doing this it's basically spam click everything make an iron smelter Welcome, operator. I see you started alone. A solitary figure grappling with the indifferent forces of the universe. What a fitting metaphor for the human condition. How about we build some miners, ironstone coal, to get started? We need four iron plates. We've got an iron mine. Our yield is 119% right now, which that's pretty good. We are, we're current, I just punched my microphone. We're currently at a bad rate for stone. I'd love to uh, yeah, get a stone miner. That's what we want. Get a few of those. The one energy produces one times 119%, so we have an extra, basically a one in five chance of, for an extra yield. Let's go ahead and we have a kiln. It, we need a lot more stone. Spend a whole bunch of money to get more kilns. Get another iron smelter, another iron miner, another stone miner. I think the iron miners are going to be the big thing here. I don't know if, basically, in terms of where we're at, let's show that completed. We have a coal miner. There we go. A spam click a bunch of stone because we're running out of it. It's basically what the game is. We're basically building a factory as an idler. I like this. It's kind of nice to leave on in the background. We'll make a decently long video out of this, but I don't see me playing this as a video series. Uh, but yeah, this is very chill, very fun so far. So you just see how far we can grow the factory. Go ahead and get a coal power plant. Uh, we have iron plates being made. Get an iron miner. Let's get a few of those. We are currently producing 2.97 iron per tick. Can we get a stone miner. Yes, we can. I'd love to keep that in the green if we can. One more stone miner might do it. The coal miner is also what's preventing that from a gear press. Okay. 
go and get a bunch more stone made. I'm just going to spam click this a few times, give myself carpal tunnel. And then we'll see what this is all about. Let's get a few more kilns, a couple more iron smelters, a couple more iron miners, one more of each of those. We are full up on energy. Get rid of one iron mine because we're sitting good in the green on iron right now so i don't need more than seven at least for the moment okay kiln iron smelter iron miner we can make our first gear press if we wanted to Now we're in the uh, red with iron because it's making gears or iron plates. Coal power plant. We get a lot more energy now. That's going to be huge. Get a coal miner up. Let's get another one of each of these. A couple of stone miners. Maybe we can finally get in the green and stay there. I think we're in the green on everything now. I say that and the stone goes in the green. We get 10 stone miners? Yeah, we can. Okay. 10 I think is enough to, mo to manage our production for the moment. science laboratory Got a lot of bricks we could turn the kilns down we could actually really manage to do that right now we're still getting four bricks a tick Six energy being used. Still getting a thousand bricks. And we're gonna turn. We're gonna take those down. Make our first red science laboratory. We have unlocked research. Check out the research section to discover new technologies and expand your capabilities. Unless the map and the ability to build more parcels. We need 40 red science for that. What is red science made with? Gears. Gears are made with iron plates. We're going to get one of each of these. I think we're going to be good in terms of production rates. We're going to need another coal power plant. Uh, is that going to hurt us? Our production is about the same. Okay. So we're good on that. We are fine on that. The 48 energy. 39 building slots. Gonna we'll make another red science laboratory. And another gear press. Whole power plants doing good. We get another coal miner just to offset that cost a little bit. Because we bought three coal or two coal power plants without buying any more coal mines, and that's going to be a problem if we don't do it quickly enough. We're 0 0.3 per tick. Get another gear press each. Get another Red Science Laboratory. That'll get us up to 0.4. This is the lowest we're going to get in terms of this is 40. 
I think we can, we can get this, we'll be golden, in my opinion. Okay, 26 red science, We're, we need 40. Get another iron miner. And the coal power plant. For 64 energy, we're actually doing pretty good. Love to get some solar energy at some point. Uh, the Red Science Laboratory, we're missing... Oh, we're missing something else. Missing whatever that is. We need to research Excavation Tech and Beat Level 1. We can research Excavation Tech now, and which unlocks the map. We have HQ, cannot connect node to itself. Okay. So tutorial one, you can create a parcel by double clicking anywhere on the map. Add parcel production. Let's go ahead and click those together. Connections, transport resources between parcels at a rate of up to eight items per tick. We can right click to delete the connection. Select, shift select a parcel and backspace to delete it. Okay. So now that you know the basics, it's time to put your knowledge to the test. Deliver iron plates. Iron plates. Move that over there. So we're delivering eight a second. create a parcel. You can quickly create a parcel by dragging a new connection into an empty space. Delete that. Smart sword tool in the parcel view. Sorts buildings by likelihood of you want to build them. So turn on smart sword. Create one more time. Okay. Build max building. Alt option. Okay, we need drone tech tier one to what we need, but we also need extraction tech and lots of parts of all. Extraction going boost output by 130%. Okay. Deliver iron plates to the HQ. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So we need to make iron plates. That's what we're doing. So that needs iron ore and coal. Let's delete this one. Go ahead and so we're delivering iron ore. And we're delivering coal. Okay. So we want to make iron plates. We also want to get a coal miner going. We can. A couple of iron mines, if we can also do that. Do that. We don't need a stone miner, so we can ignore that. 
Uh, the iron ore is currently minus 40.43 a tick. However, it keeps going up. Oh, we're full up, that's why. Um, okay. We're making iron plates, so we won't. that now we're delivering iron plates to the HQ Output right. Okay. I think we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up here. Uh, if you want to check out Infernal Factory, go check it out. It's available now. And with that, we're gonna go and wrap it up. So if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time for something new. Thanks for watching.